In this video, we're going to look at how to create a lead capture form using only Elementor Pro. Now, there are two parts really to a lead capture form. The first part is obviously capturing the information, so the name and the email, um, and, and taking that into your possession so you can use that for your future marketing. The second part, which is usually why people subscribe to premium mailing list packages or premium services and opt-in monster and all of the rest, uh, that second part is generally the automated process of delivering the incentive which had the customer submit their data in the first place. To collect the information and also to deliver the incentive, you actually don't need these premium services uh, because we're gonna do all of that in Elementor Pro using their own forms. Okay, so let's dive straight into how we're going to do this. The most difficult part of it, obviously, is uh, delivering the incentive automatically. And there are a few different ways that we can do that. Obviously, it depends on what the incentive is. And we'll look at a few scenarios uh, throughout this video. You're going to need Elementor Pro for this one. So uh, if you don't have that yet, please do check my affiliate link in the description. It costs you nothing further, but it does help me keep doing this, which is kind of awesome. I like it. Right, so uh, the first thing we need is a sort of a, a typical page where we might have a lead capture form. And the, the most important part of this whole process is saying, for this, I need your name and your email, and I'll send you hints and tips and tricks. And so on a page where we have a price, it's pretty obvious what we can actually, you know, incentivize someone with. We're going to offer a discount code. Now, this is a bit of a mock-up page for my Udemy course. Um, you may well have some interest in it, how to become a no-coding web designer. And uh, the, we're going to do that. We're, we're going to offer a discount code to those for whom it's of interest. So the first thing we need to do is open this up. And uh, we've got the typical Elementor interface. Now, I've created the form. And just a bit of guidance on what you want to do with the lead capture form. Keep it really simple. We just want people to act on impulse, you know, just, yep, give me my code. Keep the incentive in mind with the button. So we don't want submit now or send. Uh, you know, we want to get the discount code. And obviously, make it clear what people are doing. You know, they're signing up to go on a mailing list. And the fact that they're giving that information and hitting get discount code is them giving consent to that. So, um, you know, put the information around the form that you need to put. So job number one is actually taking the information, which is the whole idea of a form. So this is pretty straightforward. Um, we are going to, after submission of the form, take the name and the email to our email. So it will post through to here all fields. That's fantastic. Now, it, we can actually integrate this form straight into our mailing list. And so if we click on the plus here and we have a look, we've got MailChimp, uh, Active Campaign, uh, ConvertKit. Have a look at these. Um, integrating them is really quite simple. And the good thing about that is that the name and the email will go straight into the mailing list. Now, if you've got the free version of MailChimp, what you don't get is, is the ability to automate that uh, incentive delivery. Now, while we're going to get around that, it's just good to know that you can take uh, a, a little bit of work off your off your plate uh, by having it go straight into MailChimp or similar. Um, but for now, we're just going to leave it that we get emailed with this information. Then we've got it. That's great. Okay, so that's job number one of lead capture. Now, how do we deliver the incentive? Well, in this instance, uh, the incentive is simply a code. It's text. So what we can do is go along again to actions after submit, hit the plus and go along to email too. Now, once we've clicked that, we have this little fella turn up and we click on that one and we've got the typical, look, it's exactly the same, email one. So we've got two subject and message and then email two and we've got the same. So we could set this up. Now, obviously we don't want to send a customer uh, their own name and email. So we might do something as simple as, as uh, your code, it's not very friendly, but we could, um, your code uh, be awesome. Okay, cool. Right, so that will actually send to the customer. And we might want to change the subject line, which is your discount code. All right, that's looking good so far. Um, now, how do we, whoops, 
how do we add their email that they've just submitted into this field here? Now you might be thinking, oh, hang on, I've just got it, dynamic tags. Uh, right, well, let's have a look. Um, unfortunately, it was worth a look, <laughs> but uh, there's nothing really there. I mean, um, the closest is, oh, is this person an author? But they're not, they're a customer. They are this side of the website screen. Um, so there's nothing here that can that can help. Um, and they've, you know, there's nothing in the a ACF field, but it is actually still quite simple. So let's have a look. Up here in form fields, we have the name and the email uh, field. And so if we click on that and we go to advanced, We've got the field ID and it's actually down here in this short code. So I've just copied that. So command C or <laughs> yep, yep, command C. Um, and I don't need that anymore. So pop along again to the email too. And all I'm going to do is paste that in. Field ID equals email, referring to the email that's just been submitted there. Now, you, you can make that more unique if you want to, obviously, um, and that's never a bad thing. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that, and let's just go with a little bit of a test, shall we? So I'm gonna click Update, and oh yes, become a no-coding web designer, and oh with a discount code, of course I will. Okay, let's do this. Doodio. So we've submitted the email and the name, get discount code. Oh, obviously we would want to, uh, you know, say something like, yay, your discount code is on the way. So, you know, you can change that in your Elementor form. Now let's have a look at the delivery of that email. And it's already there. Look how swift that is. Your discount code. Whoop, whoop. And look, your, your code. Be awesome. We have just delivered the incentive. Absolutely just seamless, spot on, really, really quick. Um, it's everything that we needed to do. But obviously this isn't looking very pretty, is it? So uh, what can we do about that? If we wrote a lot more there, it would still be very plain and it wouldn't present very well. And so what we can actually do, if we have a peek down here, we actually have a few options. We could snazz this up a bit. Um, <laughs> should we shout at them? Let's shout at them. Uh, so H2, um, hi. Uh, yeah, something like that. Your code, be awesome. Actually, that should be in the... Uh, in the H2, shouldn't it? So, do, 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 do. oh, and actually, let's have a quick look here. Form fields, let's make it even more personal. So we've gone to the form fields again, and let's grab this one and chuck it here. Hi, name, your code. Da, 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 da. And now let's uh, let's submit this again, shall we? So let's go with Mr. Dudio this time. Yay, your discount code. And hi, Mr. Dudio, your code be awesome. Yay. All right, I'm, I'm liking that. Now, uh, it's just occurred to me, let's show you how it can look a little bit nicer. So let's have a look at a bit of a snazzed up version with my email signature. Um, now this is, it's a bit crude. I've just whacked it together and, and then put my email signature on there. Uh, but in case you're not familiar with HTML, I will leave it in the description below or a link to it at least. So you can copy and paste and just change out the information. Um, but you can get snippets pretty much anywhere online. But yeah, you can start with that. So look at that. You can really do like, hi, Dudio or name. Um, thanks for your interest. La la la. Um, should have put here is your code. And that's quite typical in an email. You might need to allow uh, because of the images. Um, but look at that. You can put, you know, a nice, uh, Oh, I'm Chris Goo. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris Goo. It's not good. Um, anyway, I'll have to fix that. Okay, so that's uh, job one and two completed for the delivery of a discount code. How might we modify that for something like a PDF? Okay, so maybe it's not something like a discount code, uh, but maybe it's actually something like a PDF. So I'll give you an example. You might have a picture here of a sort of, a, you know, a, a three page guide on how to start out in web design or um, uh, if you're doing trade services or, or you know, salon stuff, you might have five strategies for anything. Um, so here we go, look at that. Five strategies for lead capture. Now we can imagine that's there, a nice little picture. Um, and then there's a, you know, submit the form and, and get this awesome PDF. So how do we deliver that PDF uh, to our customers after sending the form? Okay, well, what we need to do actually is 
put the PDF in our media library. Okay, so we swoop it on in and then we would have something like this. Now, what we're interested in is the file URL. So we copy that to the clipboard. Now, if we go back to our page, I'll actually show you, we, we, could, we could chuck that onto a button, chuck that link that we just copied onto the button and refresh. And so uh, with the use of that link, we can open up the PDF and then your customer is free to download that. So all we need to do is get that link to them. Now, obviously we've just copied it to our clipboard. We just need to paste that into our email. So I'll just delete this. And so we would just change this. So instead of this discount code, I'm going to paste the link there. So I've, I've just literally put the link there. Now, if I send that out, uh, it wouldn't actually be a hyperlink. So I need to blab that in, get to your guide here. Okay. Okay. So instead of just the link, um, which is the, the bit that we copy from the, from the URL to, uh, to the clipboard, um, I've added all of this here which which turns it into an actual link okay so i'll show you what that looks like and then it's sort of get your guide here and again i will put that in the description below or a link to it um, if you're not so familiar with that so let's open this up again and i'm going to submit again to the form okay so here we are now obviously i haven't changed all of the text um, but the important bit is that we've got this uh, get your guide here and we can even make that turn that into a button just using html again and so we click on that and look at that our customer now has the pdf and they can download it and and keep that forever and keep you in mind okay so obviously that could also be in this email um, it could be watch the video now and it could be um, an exclusive video that you've recorded and it's unlisted on your YouTube channel or uh, somewhere on a hidden page on your website. That's how you would deliver something like a, a video link. And, and it's a really, really good way to incentivize people to give the name and the email. So that's how to automate that process of incentive delivery um, when we're emailing somebody. Now, I would say that's a really good way to do it. That's, that's perfect. Um, but it is a bit annoying for customers because uh, they have to then go and check out their email and uh, it disturbs that whole process and perhaps some momentum. Now, it's probably a better idea, in, in my opinion, to email them something straight away. It, it's not difficult to do, but we can also add another action after submission and that is to redirect. So what this does is once that button is clicked, all of these different actions will, will take place. And so uh, we will get sent the information, uh, the email to whatever is in there will get sent to however we set it up, but to our new customer. And then we can also redirect. So why might we want to redirect someone to a page? Well, for example, let's go back to the discount code idea. Um, I've made another page which would suit here <laughs> and it's not turning up dynamically, which it usually does. So that's rather annoying. I would just paste that on in there. So the URL to my secret page and click update. Okay, so let's test this page. Okay, let's test this functionality. Now I will leave all of the information there because that will be uh, uh, sent to me and that's just the beginning of a wonderful relationship and communication. But now what I want to do is when Mr. Dudio, Dudio submits this form, I want to catapult him to um, a wonderful new world. And we're going to keep up the momentum because as soon as I click go, your submission was successful. We're taken to this awesome page where it's thanks for joining. Now you would change up the text here. Keep that momentum. Here's your code. So they've delivered, they've got the code and it's been emailed anyway. So that's another reminder later on. All right. But it's instant delivery of the code. And the best thing is, is that they're still on your website. Uh, think of them as being a bit further down that funnel because right now we can say how great it is if they use that code uh, because it's it's worth nothing if they don't actually get on and start now. So however you want to work that, if you're using a redirect, whether it's to redirect to a page where there's a download button for the PDF, 
or whether it's an exclusive video um, or whether you actually just want to have a whole landing page and really talk people into uh, actually starting the course for which they just got a coupon code um, you know so we've got everything like social proof and things and then start now and it takes them to that place where they put that code in um, there are so many possibilities for you to uh, use there and don't forget there's the upsell possibilities there as well so um, the I would say it would be really great to have something like uh, a video here hey thanks for your interest in the course have it auto play it doesn't matter they're in the game now thanks for the in interest in my course get your code above I'm really excited to join you on your learning journey um, don't forget that there is a course resources page on this very website blah 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 okay so it's really really cool um, that there are so many possibilities to use and this is all just with elemental forms when you can do all of this it really just makes me think that there's no real need to uh, go and get a premium lead capture plugin so I hope you found that useful I hope it's really got you sort of like thinking how can I apply this and uh, get this onto my website straight away don't forget the whole idea of lead capture is beginning that relationship um, it's kind of like the top of the funnel so you really want to then start engaging with people who have made it onto your mailing list and I've been guilty of that in the past um, and maybe some of you even know that it as humble as this channel is but I've definitely had some really good responses to people joining my mailing list and then I've had quiet periods so I would say before you really jump into this make sure you've got a plan and a strategy for at least monthly emails or but at least weekly emails just pre-write them uh, have have that content in mind just so that when someone takes that leap and they do give you that information you're actually going to use it well anyway I'll leave you with that again if you're gonna get Elementor Pro uh, please do uh, visit through my link and uh, just in case you didn't notice I do have a Udemy course if you'd like to become a no coding web designer and so in the description below you will find a link to that very page where you can get a discount code I would say it's actually really exciting because Elementor has made so many leaps and bounds recently that I'm very much looking forward to updating the course. I very much need to because we have all of the new developments with containers and nested tabs and mega menus. There's so much for me to put in there. Um, but it does really start out with how do you start wrestling with the idea of a web design project? Uh, what about design concepts and branding and we go into all of that in a very lovely basic uh, level uh, we cover everything that you need to get out there and start making a website for a client or for yourself so if that is of interest to you you know where to go and get your discount code and it starts in the description below okay so please like subscribe uh, get in touch if there's anything that this has touched on but not explained and you'd like a video on it I'd love to know what you'd love to learn stay happy stay cool and I will see you soon Don't know about that.